Welcome forward to day 18 of our Reflections on St. Joseph. And today's theme, again following the litany to St. Joseph, is Joseph most prudent. And again this concept of Joseph being the most prudent person that had walked this planet, man, that had walked this planet except for Jesus is, is in there in that title. So we're talking about another virtue today and this particular virtue is sometimes known as the principal virtue and it's a virtue that drives or informs all the other virtues we've talked about. Now one virtue, and I'm referring to the cardinal virtues here, so one cardinal virtue we've not mentioned yet, so which I want to introduce now, is temperance. And so again, as we go through, ask yourself these questions, what is temperance and what does that mean? What does it look like in reality? So just focusing on temperance. Temperance is the ability, if you like, to moderate uh, your actions or have a balance in your actions, put sort of briefly. So for example, if we take a practical example of uh, eating, you can get addicted to eating and eat too much so therefore that's excessive and you can just keep eating and eating and eating and of course that's clearly very harmful to you and likewise the other extreme is a deficiency in food where you go on an extreme diet to the point that it actually harms you and it becomes very harmful and therefore the golden medium of excessive eating 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 and drinking and excessive dieting is having a balanced diet so that could be the simplest way of looking at that so just to introduce that in terms of its relation to prudence now prudence is the ability to and this is a key word to discern what is true and good for yourself and others if you like but not only that, it's also about the best way to achieve that good and truthfulness. And that's why prudence is, is seen as the principal um, virtue, in fact, it used to be called the virtue, because it informs all the other virtues. And it's a bit like if, you, if you've got a boat or a ship, it's a, it's a bit like it's the rudder it will help you go in the right direction but again that key word there discern and the book goes on to talk about human discernment as opposed to supernatural or what i would call spiritual discernment so human discernment would actually avoid uh, i suppose sorrow harm barriers distractions and um, hardships and so forth but supernatural or spiritual prudence would actually not necessarily avoid sorrow if it was the right way to go it would not avoid harm if it was the right way to go and a good example of that is is from the book which i'm now going to quickly read and i think it it sums it up better and again again it applies it to Joseph's life and some of the choices that to make so very quickly a man of human prudence would never arise from sleep and flee to Egypt with his spouse and a child in response to a dream a man of human prudence would quickly rebuke any man who informed his wife that her heart would be pierced with a sword and his son be a cause of division but saint joseph is no ordinary man by the power of the holy spirit he is a man of supernatural prudence he ponders prays discerns and acts so we're going to leave it there <clears throat> I want you to really think about those things, especially the last bit about the discernment is about pondering and praying and then acting. 
and how does that fit in with what you do and the decisions that you make. Now tomorrow we will also look at how temperance and prudence fits onto the diagram we've been using to help us explain and explore virtues. So, Joseph pondered, prayed, and that would involve listening, which we talked about, and listening is linked to loving, and then he would have acted. A lot to think about again, and God bless until tomorrow.